a closed universe. One way we can picture a closed universe as having a spherical shape. So in some ways our balloon analogy ties in very closely with a closed universe. So what is a closed universe? Well this is a universe where our density is greater than the critical density. So this is a universe with a high density. So that means there's going to be a lot of gravity resisting expansion. And that high amount of gravity or mass is what actually curves the universe into this spherical shape because the more mass you have the more it curves space around it. So this is a universe with enough mass to actually curve our entire universe into a spherical shape. So because of all of that gravity the expansion is going to slow down and it's going to slow down enough that it actually stops and then collapses back down on itself and that's what this top picture is showing here's the expansion and then the contraction running out of room to write that So in some ways, this is sort of like if you were standing on the earth and you tossed a ball up into the air. When the ball goes up into the air, it reaches a maximum height and then it falls back down. So our Big Bang is kind of like that initial toss. The gravity of all the matter in the universe is slowing that down, brings it to a stop, and then pulls it all back together at a faster and faster rate as it collapses back down. Now if you were to go for a walk, and you walk in a straight line, in a closed universe you will eventually come back to where you started. Our Earth is similar in that respect that if you could you know, go off walking around the Earth eventually you would come back to where you began. So if I went walking in front of me in a straight line I'd come back to where I started. If I then turned to my left and went walking for in a straight line, I'd eventually come back. Now with a closed universe, and this is where that strange dimensional stuff comes in, if I went in a spaceship and went straight up, eventually I would come back to my starting point from below. And that's the one that's hard to picture because you know, surface of the earth we can picture going all the way around the earth and coming back to where we started. It's this going straight up into space and eventually coming back from below that's a little harder to picture. But all of those would be true in a closed universe. Now when it's collapsing we're compressing everything closer and closer together so it's going to get hot and it's going to get bright and ultimately everything gets crushed and that has been dubbed the big crunch when everything comes crashing together and you end up with a singularity everything has been compressed 
into a single point. So the big crunch is the fate of our closed universe. However, some hypothesize that that big crunch is then going to be a new big bang and the process repeats itself. So it forms, it expands, it collapses, that's a new big bang, it expands, it collapses, and it just repeats forever. And that's called an oscillating universe. So this is a universe that the end of one universe sparks the beginning of the next.